that you are having a hard time right now That everything seems to crumble Trust into us and we will help you through Cause we only want what's best What's best for you I know that you are having trouble Everything is gonna be, is gonna be alright I know that you, you're all alone in this world But you have to, put your trust into us And we will help you through Cause we only want what's best what is best for you? Let me. Can we let go of 
tomorrow. Yeah. You never break, you never lie, you never ever scared of the dark. So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. You never lose an argument. So I've been trying hard to pretend that I'm okay. It's just a phase, and everything is going just great. I think about you a lot. It's almost like I can't stop. Can't stop. Yeah, yeah. Everybody. Welcome to Del and Artie Live. This is Del and you are Artie. I'm so happy you're here with me tonight. We're going to play with Catherine Pooler's newest release coming out tomorrow for Stamp Nation members Wednesday for everybody. It will be uh, nine, uh, 12 noon tomorrow and 9 a.m. On, on Wednesday. 
It's called April Showers Bring. And it has to do with the weather. And I think... I have to say that this bear, the Puddle Play stamp set, is my favorite ever. Of all CP releases and collections, this bear has my heart. It's just so stinking cute. And the clouds that go with it and the, and the other stamp set we're going to play with tonight are just fantastic. I'm in love with it. I love it. I love it. I love it. I enjoy it. So we're going to have some fun building scenes tonight with uh, some of the little images in there. There's a, a porcupine. I thought it was a hedgehog. It could work as a hedgehog too. Uh, there's a fox, a little fox. And the hedgehog or a por porcupine and the bear both have little umbrellas and they're, they're stinking cute. Uh, really nice. The whole release is fantastic. Uh, I got to play with the the uh, clouds and the the uh, puddle play, plus the this fantastic. I'm gonna we're gonna make something with this slim line. I had this left over from my projects. Um, we're gonna play with this tonight. I'm not gonna actually do the die cutting since I already did the die cutting, but um, this slim line cover plate die is fantastic as well so we're going to play with that tonight i just want to play play the heck out of this uh these few stamp sets um if you're new here tonight we want to say welcome we want to make you feel welcome please uh type the word new in all caps with an exclamation point after it and um i want to say hi to you and what is your favorite part of this collection, the April Showers Bring collection? What is your favorite? What is your favorite? Would someone share with Stamp Nation, if you haven't shared with Stamp Nation, just to share with Stamp Junkies, would you do that for me, please? It's a big help. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. I want to see if anyone has typed in the word new here tonight. Let's see, is anybody new? Any new? Let's see. I'm gonna search for the word new. Julia Schmidt is new. Welcome, Julia. I'm gonna give you a, a round of applause. We're so happy you're here. Yolanda Espinosa is new here. Welcome, Yolanda. We're happy that you're here as well. And let's see, anybody else typed new in? I don't think so. Let's see. New, new, new. I want to make sure I don't miss anybody, but I do want you to feel welcome. So we're so happy you're here. Please hop into the conversation. I'll have a giveaway at the end of the at the end of the uh, show tonight. So make sure that you comment along, talk to everybody. If you're not a social butterfly, just type in uh, every once in a while some gibberish on your keyboard just so you get your entry in, right? I also want to take care of business tonight, which is a big part of what we do here. In order to keep our show going, we need to encourage Daniel with uh, your... Uh, participation so in order to keep this channel live and going and healthy and strong with all the good uh, bells and whistles and my big smile I need you to click this link right here and let Catherine know that I sent you over to her shop just click that link it's my affiliate link it costs you nothing to use it is um, a way to share with Catherine Pooler that I sent you to her shop to shop. Even if you're not going to shop, just click it. It'll put a cookie on your on your computer or your device. And then when you do shop, I'll get a small portion at no additional cost to you of what you buy. Money-wise, not your products. You want your products. So uh, the other thing is, uh, some people were having trouble with uh, getting getting the the cookies to actually work so you may want to clear your cookie cache if you want help doing that just send me a text message or google it and uh, say how do i clear my cookies out of my computer and that way you can make sure that uh, it works for you 
All right. All right. Let's get to stamping and playing around. I'm excited. I'm excited. This is such a fun release. Okay. I've already taken the liberty of doing some of the stamping out here. Let's straighten up my camera here. And I've started my project already, though I'm going to go through every step for you. I just wanted to show you how it ends up looking um, when this dries back. So just a quick glimpse at that. We'll bring those back over in just a second because we want to work with dry things. I've already stamped and die cut my images. So I have all these bears <laughs> already ready to go. And I have one just in case I need it. Um, I have all of the clouds. The clouds come in this uh, stamp set called April Showers. And the Puddle Play stamp set is the one with the bear fox and the and the little porcupine. And this is the April Showers one. It has all of these whimsical looking designs for clouds with rain, uh, plain clouds, raindrops, wind, or wind-driven rain. <laughs> then a sentiment or three. Life doesn't have to be perfect to be beautiful. Let's weather this together or weather it together. And then sending a little sunshine your way. Those are fun, aren't those fun? I got mine today too, Bonnie. Okay. Let's put our dies up there. All of the little images in that Puddle Play stamp set have coordinating dies you can purchase as well. Look at the fox, isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. The critters are cute, yes. Now for my projects I used for for my project samples that I sent into Catherine I used these a blender brush to color them in to color in my bears and my porcupine but it takes me a considerably longer amount of time to do because I'm not an expert at that one so I prefer on camera to use my Copics so I'm going to use my Copic markers tonight only because I mean, I, I do like how mine came out with the bears and the blender brushes, but I think it'll be a lot easier and faster if I do this with Copic markers. Let me just say, every one of those bears that I colored in with the blender brush took me a lot longer because the ink dries back and then I don't see the, the depth that I tried to add to it right away. <laughs> I'm not an expert at it. Catherine is an expert at it. So let's add... Let's color in our bears with some browns. We'll do E15, 13, 17, and 19. Maybe 11, too, as well. So we'll just use this family for our bears, for this bear. And I'm going to talk to you about creating scenes here in just a minute. But let's get our coloring done. So I'm just going to, well, let's draw a fence here. I'm going to color in a fence. A fence is a way of getting all of the color nice and even along the edge of your image. And I'm using Catherine Pooler White cardstock. And I'm flicking out so that it'll be darker along the edge and then lighter as you go further out. Let's get a shadow right in there, a little bit of shadow along the nose, the muzzle of the bear, a little bit right in here. There we go. Let's add some right under the tummy. Bonnie says that the bear looks like me. Is Are you referring to my stomach, Bonnie? Because <laughs> I would agree. I'm a bear. I'm a big old bear. All right. Let's do E17 now. And just flick to get a better blend there on our bear. I'm not looking for professional coloring here. 
just fun. I'm having fun. And I think that's the biggest, most important part of crafting, especially on camera. Make sure you're having fun. All right. So just go out a little bit further than your darkest color there. And then we'll go to E15. And you can see it just keeps getting lighter. E15 is not as dark or saturated, I guess you could say, as the E17 or E19. I'm getting quiet as I color. You guys know me. And then E13. You guys are also getting quiet. Doxy stamps too. What are doxy stamps? Are you talking? Did you mean foxy stamps? Kathy, that's right. I am a lefty. It seems like my comments are not showing up in in my um, all my comments aren't showing up in my ecam program but they're showing up on my other program over there so i just need to focus over there on on that one okay so he's you're going to be able to see some of the lines in this because i'm going kind of fast but also, he's got fur on, so you don't want it to be super smooth, right? And I may come in and just add some texture to him in just a minute. I think the E13 is going to be my lightest color. So let's um, take it all the way. We'll draw a fence here. His muzzle, I'll probably do an E11 on. Oh, nice. CP, you're, you're building a studio out, huh? That's cool. Get that studio work done. If you need a studio consultant, I'll come and help you. Okay, and there's our bear colored in. Let's give him a nose, a little bit of coloring on the nose. We'll do a, an E11 on his nose. And then a little bit of E13 just to add some shadow on that side of his nose All right i'll bring him up close for you guys to see isn't that fun all right now what we're going to do is just add a little bit of this e19 splotchily that's my favorite word when it comes to copics we'll just add some dots of this here and there not perfect dots just kind of dotting around kind of add some interest to my bear then we'll go with the e15 and do the same thing coming out a little bit further just because he's furry right and we want him to be a little furry we want him to look furry too right And I think that helps helps him look a little furrier. I'm just going to add some of that E15 over here on the lighter side. Like that. And then I can blend that, blend that out if it's just a little too dark. So it's a little too dark, I think, in some places. So I'm just going to run my E13 over it and kind of lighten that up just a little bit. Blend it in a little bit. Uh, Catherine's white cardstock is really great for Copic coloring, by the way. Let 
really handles the markers nice nicely okay there we go much better now I'm going to show you again isn't that nice he looks more furry fluffier you know now I'm going to give him a red umbrella here with an R39 and an R35 So I'm just going to do my R. I love this uh, combination with the muted blues and blue greens we're going to use here in just a minute on our card. I'm just going to color that in like that and then add a little bit of R39. Thank you, Yolanda. You guys are awesome. I really appreciate all of you joining in tonight. Joining in the conversation. There we go. Now, usually, an um, I would I would use an R thirty seven or so here, but I didn't have it out, and I don't need to take it out. I can get a better blend on my bra on my color here by just because R thirty five and R thirty nine are four steps away. The difference is really big, and you're going to see it on my coloring. So I can just touch my marker tips together and get. A happy medium all right just get one kind of in the middle of those two and it's not going to uh, take away the dimension that I achieved in there now look at my umbrella isn't that fun he's so cute that bear is just adorable cutest bear ever all right I love all stamped bears I think they turn out so nice now our little um, porcupine here is gonna get the same treatment we're gonna give him a lighter belly though so we'll start with e13 here is the darkest side of him and then we'll do e11 really simple coloring on him and then on the outside we'll give him the darkest along the inside of his body because that's where the the actual spines or what do you call porcupines um, his bristles what do you call those they have a name I'm just gonna color them in the darkest right there that's an e15 I thought I was using e19 there we go like why isn't this getting dark <laughs> there we go and now I'm gonna use e13 to come out along the outside of him Now, yeah. he's going to get the same kind of umbrella. So let's do the same thing here. Wicked fun, guys. <laughs> I had so much fun coloring these guys that I made I made five cards very similar. All of them have bears because I just fell in love with the bear image in this uh, stamp set he made me laugh brought me some joy there we go now let's do the same blending technique here 
just going to transfer some of that R39 onto my R35. To get that bit of shading on my umbrella. Now something I think is really cool to do to add a bit of shine to my umbrella is just to get a glimmer pin out. This one is from scrapbook.com. And in order to get that shimmer going, I kind of like to put some out on my, this is like Wink of Stella. So I don't know. Catherine, is there one of these in the uh, shop? I like to squeeze some out and then use it but this one isn't squeezing out I should probably push in the right spot it's gonna come out all at once and then I'm gonna be sorry <laughs> and what this does is just add a bit of shimmer to the umbrella and makes it shine I'll do the same right there Thanks, Pat. You guys are so sweet. Thanks, Mary. Yeah, April, this is Rhode Island. We say wicked fun. All right. If you guys are getting any value out of tonight's video, you can support my channel by hitting that subscribe button. My mom's here says she likes my little bear. <laughs> You can hit that subscribe button to support my channel. You can also click that link that I just put up there and donate. Put that in my guitar case that I have out. That's only if you're a multimillionaire. You know, you can't donate more than $20,000. It's the max. So please, uh, if you need to donate more than $20,000, just break it up into, you know, into smaller chunks. $10,000 each, something like that. All right. Okay. Now... What was I going to do? Oh, I wanted to show you how I made my panel. So I cut out some Catherine Puller cardstock. And I have one of her long acrylic blocks here. This stamps, this stamp right here belongs to the Puddle Play stamp set that I'm using with the bears and the porcupine. And it fits perfectly on this long acrylic block. Now you can go to her website and add that into your cart. And then when you go shopping tomorrow, you'll be able to pick it up. So if you need a link to her shop, just go right here. There's a link for it right there. All right. Now I'm going to get out some clear embossing ink and I'm going to ink up my, my stamp here. I'm just going to stamp it twice. Once there. Then I'm going to stamp it one more time. A little bit lower on the other side. Like that. And then I'm going to get out. What is this? Oh, this is a worksheet I use for teaching on a... On a... <laughs> Oh my goodness. Mary, thank you so much. That's very kind of you. Very generous. Thank you very much. Um, it looks like I'm going to have to boogie here. Thank you, Mary. $50 super chat. You're so kind. All right, time to boogie, guys. Thank you very much, Mary Anderson. That was very kind of you. Now I'm going to sprinkle some, this is called All That Jazz Embossing Powder from Wow. Right? It's a collaboration. You can buy this in a trio. It's in the list of supplies that I've put up on my, on the screen there. Opal Quartz Aqua Shimmer by Nuvo. Okay, perfect. For me, they all kind of work the same. So I've got several different kinds and they all pretty much do the same thing for me. 
Let me put my embossing powder back in my jar. I'm going to use it again in a minute. Oof, I got glitter everywhere. <laughs> hey, bro. You say it in Kentucky and people are like, Wicked is of the devil. <laughs> I'm just going to let my heat gun warm up a bit here. And because this has glitter in it, I like to heat it from the back first. Just to kind of grab the glitter. And then I'll heat it on the front. I don't know how much that helps. I'm sure it helps a little bit though. Makes me feel like I'm a little bit in control anyway. Yeah. I don't see as much glitter flying off my cardstock. <laughs> I'm not a vampire, no bonbon. I'm not. Not a vampire. And I think that means, I think they glamour and not glimmer. I think. Could be wrong. But I'm pretty sure. I'm going to use hot tub for this right here. Now, I'm going to show you how that ends up drying back and evening out. So, when you first do this direct to paper, you're going to see that the ink kind of looks like it's going to stay splotchy. But uh, watch what happens. I'll show you the end result here. See where the ink pads cross over the ink pad marks? That goes away. Believe it or not, it goes away. But look at the shimmer, the shine on there. Isn't that fun? It looks wet, right? It looks like it's wet. I mean, it is literally a little bit wet, but <laughs> here is, uh, here's the end result. It actually dries back and it evens out a lot. So you don't see the marks on it very much. Pretty smooth. And we're going to be covering this up a lot with some clouds and with die cuts. So it's not important if you can see it a little bit, you know. All right. Let's clean up my inky mess here. And there's my uh, pre-prepared and dried background. I'm going to do this. I'm going to trim it down. A quarter of an inch on or an yeah, a quarter inch on all sides. Because I love that border that it creates when I pop it up on my card base. I love it. And then I'm gonna look how this red just pops on that on that hot tub. Isn't that beautiful? I just love it. I love the, the contrast there. But look what happens when I add a cloud on there. Let's add a cloud. I have all of these clouds pre-cut. So let's get a big one, all right. and I'm going to ink this up with embossing ink. This is uh, embossing and watermark clear ink from Hero Arts. I have lots of embossing pads and I don't really have a favorite. I just keep one juicy and they, they all seem to work for me fine. And this doesn't actually have to be aligned perfectly either. but. Just going to stamp that down. I have a round acrylic block from Catherine Pooler here. Get my reverse tweezer and my Bible study outline page. <laughs> and look at that. 
Isn't that really cool? That's really cool. I'm going to return my embossing powder to the jar. And again, I'm going to heat this from behind. This is, what is this embossing powder called? I'll tell you in just a second. But it is in my, the list of, uh, look, click that link there, my friend, Melissa, and look for the embossing powder trio in there. It's only available as a part of a trio. Okay, now this one I'm going to dip into my um, Daydream ink pad. It's kind of in the same family of colors as Hot Tub, it's just darker. And I'm going to press my cloud into there. and pick it up. Now this will dry back, but I want to make sure there's no um, ink over my embossing powder. So I'm just going to wipe it off so that when it dries, it'll, it'll show that resist there. See that? Look how shiny that is. Looks like a wet cloud. <laughs> This is called All That Jazz. That's the name of it, All That Jazz. All right. Now you can actually take this Daydream and stamp it on the background as well, just with this, this uh, ink pad or this stamp here. If you want can add one right there. I'll just add one right there. All right. Just for kicks and giggles. But now I want to grab my already dried. This one's already dried. And I'm going to get one that is, I dipped it, this one in skylight, I think. Let's see. I have another one here. Or maybe I dipped this one in Skylight and this one is Daydream. That's what I think happened. All right, so we've got this cloud. I want the rain to kind of be look, to look like it's kind of coming out from that cloud there. So I'm gonna put that up there or that up there and this one down here. And then I'm gonna add some contrast in here, right? I want to add some contrast. So I'm going to actually put in a white cloud as well. Let's get a smaller one or a thinner, flatter looking one. This one here, this one will work. It's going to cut it in half. I don't need the whole thing. All right. There we go. All right. Now that I've got that laid out, I'm going to take some post-it tape that I have already. I've already used it. Let's get those nice and straight there. And I'm going to get some foam tape. Let's get a bit of foam tape here. Mary, Mary Anderson said I need new music. <laughs> you mean my boogie music? Yeah, you're right. 
I said I was going to do that. And it's just once I get done with my live, I put my live mind away for a little while and I'm on to the next thing and I forget that I need to just sit down and pick some music and not right before my live either. All right, so let's peel these off. And we can situate these right where we want them. On our card front. And look at that. I put that a little bit too far over. But it doesn't matter because it could be anywhere. Right? Just going to get my trimmer out. What do you guys think of that? So we're building a scene. We want to, when we build our scene on our card, we're going to want to use the rule of thirds as well. So I'm going to put this rule of thirds guide that I made with a marker and an acetate panel and just put it over the front here. And you'll see that my clouds go along the top third line of my panel, right? But I'm going to add something on here. So I need a bear. Where am I going to put my bear? I'm not going to put my bear right there. All right? I'm going to put my bear just a little bit to the, to the right. All right? I'm going to put my bear right there. And I'm going to put him, my little porcupine, right by him. All right? Just like that. All right? So let's... uh. Put some foam tape behind these guys. You know what? I'm just going to use my smaller piece on, on my porcupine. And my bigger piece right there. Isn't that porcupine adorable? He's just so cute. He's like, you can't resist me. I have to come live at your house. In your craft room, he says. You think you can resist a porcupine? You're sorely mistaken. There we go. I got enough on there. Oh, I didn't put any on my on my umbrella. I may not need it. We'll see. I may just adhere it straight to my cloud. Yeah, CP called it a porcupine earlier today or on Friday. I think it was Friday anyway. You know what? My bear isn't going to need all that foam tape up there at the top, right? So I'm going to have to peel that off. Peel that off right there. Gently on my umbrella because the, the uh, umbrella stem is a delicate little thing. Let's get some glue out and adhere our umbrella to the to the uh, cloud up here at the top. All right, and then we'll just press the rest of them onto the cardstock there. All right, now we need to put our porcupine on here. <laughs> See, now that's that's the way art should be, right? You just decide yourself. What do you want it to be? If you want him to be a porcupine, he's a porcupine. If you want him to be a hedgehog, he's a hedgehog. <laughs> All right, so there we have our scene, right? We have different... This is a very whimsical little design. So we've got 
a whimsical stamp set to play with. We're going to make a whimsical design. We've got kind of a stylized cloud here in the back. We've got another different colored one here, a different colored one here, and a white one up front, right? But they all kind of coordinate together pretty well. Now we need a sentiment, so let's get our sentiment strip done. And then we're almost done for the night, guys. I mean, I could, uh, I could play forever with this stuff. I've got my other, my other uh, slim line over there to do too. So don't let me forget that. What am I looking for? I'm looking for a sentiment. Let's do. Let's do a long sentiment here. This one says, when life gives you pain, play in the puddles. So true. Good advice. Good advice. Get out a piece of black cardstock. And for my sentiment, I want to make sure that I get a really great impression on it, right? I don't want to risk a sloppy sentiment. So I'm going to put it in my little Misty here, my mini Misty. And I'm going to prep it with some anti-static powder tool. Get some of that powder flowing here. There we go. I pick it up once. That way there's no powder on my cardstock where I'm going to place my sentiment. And then I'm going to use my embossing ink. And I'm going to do that a few times just because I want to make sure that I get a nice impression of clear ink there. Now we'll use my piece of scrap paper and some white embossing powder. Let's see what I have here handy. That's ultra fine. This is uh, Hero Arts white embossing powder. Thank you, Melanie. That's very kind of you to say. And welcome. If you're new, we're so happy that you're here. And look at that. Just perfect. Love it. We're going to melt this. Welcome all the way from Canada, huh? All right. So if you want to participate in our giveaway tonight, make sure you comment along the way. Comment. Giveaway. There we go. I should have put my embossing powder away, but I get excited and they didn't do it. Thanks, Aurora. Aurora says, this looks great. I would love to be adding your comments to my screen, but my comments and reactions thing isn't working. Now I see why. I had the find or search thing on it and it wasn't pulling them up. Now they're up there. Rhonda, now that's going to get you a better chance of winning tonight. <laughs> oh, that's so sweet. All right. My trimmer. And trim this down. Make sure it's nice and even. Yeah, me too. I love embossing them in in uh, my sentiments on black cardstock with white embossing powder. 
There we go. Mm. I'm going to put them just like that. I'm going to put it right there. So let's get some more <laughs> foam tape. This foam tape, we're just using the heck out of it. Yeah, which one is your favorite, Denise? There goes Joanne. Joanne wants her chance, too, you guys. Flattery will get you everywhere. <laughs> Hi, Lana. How's it going? Sue, that that uh, little uh, guide on my on my cutter really gives me the confidence I need to cut it without fail. That's why I love my Tim Holtz trimmer because it gives me that guide there, that plastic guide on the side, and with it I can really. Is my sentiment straight? There you go. Lots of foam tape tonight, yep. <laughs> I'm happy you guys are, are learning some tips tonight. Thank you very much for saying so. Now the sentiment strip is kind of sticking up a little bit there off the bear, and I wanna make sure that it doesn't do that. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of Barely Art glue there. This is a wonderful glue. You can pick it up at Catherine's shop as well. Would you guys mind clicking the Catherine Pooler link that I'm posting right now? Would you click it and come back and say, I clicked that link, Daniel. I clicked that link. It's a big help to me. All right, let's add some sentiment, or not sentiment, what am I saying? Let's add some sequin mix in here. You guys want to tell me which sequin mix you would use from Catherine Pooler? I have tons of sequins over here. Which ones? Which one should I use? I'm looking at all of mine, the ones I have over here. Thank you for clicking the link, guys. Said someone said Crater Lake. Do I have Crater Lake out? I think I have it out here somewhere. thought I did anyway. Now I don't see it. I see Manhattan. That'll look beautiful. Sorry guys, I couldn't find my Clater, Clater Lake. My Clater Rake. Crater Lake. But Manhattan is also beautiful. It, it has the same kind of tones in it, colors that I used. Let's see if I can find my Jana Millen special in here. Uh, Margo, was that Margo that asked me? Amy asked me, Daniel, do all CP inks dry back and smooth out? Yes, they do. They do, they do. All right, I'm gonna add some sequins here. Two, three, Four, five. Let's do this with some of the clear and this one and this one. And this one. These mixes are awesome because you get all kinds of different sizes in them. And 
in different colors. Love that. Look at that. All right, now we're not finished. We have to get a, a card base under this. So let's, I thought I had two card bases already made up. So there's one. Now for my card base, I also like to pop that up. So we're going to add some more foam tape. All right. One, two, three. Now in the morning, I'm gonna I'm gonna send out an email, recapping what we did tonight, right? And if you're not part of my email list, you're gonna want to subscribe because I will send out a link for you to go shopping tomorrow. If you're not a Stamp Nation member, you won't be able to shop tomorrow. You'll have to wait till Wednesday to shop, but you can sign up for Stamp Nation tonight and have that benefit. And there's a link right there to sign up for Stamp Nation. If you want to go do that tonight, you get to shop early tomorrow. Your orders will go out before everybody else's orders. They start going out the, uh, on Tuesday. <laughs> there's, uh, uh, Stamp Nation is a community of stampers that uh, work together with all kinds of different stamp companies, but Catherine, it's, it's run by Catherine Pooler Designs. And it offers benefits like master classes, community of serious but fun loving stampers. Uh, lots of perks like early shopping. There are other things too, like a special, um, special lives and events like pajama parties and things like that. So there's lots of fun involved as well. All right. Isn't that fun? What do you guys think? When life gives you rain, play in the puddles. He he he. That's really fun. Adorable card. Now, did you catch what I was saying about the thirds? The rule of thirds? This grid is a uh, is divided into sets of three. Right? You just lay that grid over the top. You can see the line of clouds is at the top third. The bear is on the bottom or on the right third, right? And the sentiment is along this line. So if you can try to s stick to the lines there, your your scene will be more uh, composed, better composed, right? Anyway, that's that. Let's move on to our slim line card. Now this is created with the sunburst i think it's called sunburst slimline die correct me if i'm wrong this is a slimline die it's part of this collection it's not part of this bundle though i think this is part of its own bundle but i die cut it several times first i ink blended this right with some um get the colors for you guys the colors I used are flirty fuchsia and grape crush and pretty sure that is the darkest orange where is that Tiki Torch is the one I think I used there. Yeah. Tiki Torch or Orange Peel. It's Tiki Torch. So Tiki Torch, Flirty Fuchsia, Grape Crush. And then I die cut it. And then if you look at the cards that Catherine shared, you'll see that um, I used the inside pieces, glued them down first, and then I peeled this top piece up. But I saved this piece and stacked it on top of three others, right? So then you have this dimension in there. It's really fun. So don't throw away your inside pieces. Carefully, once you die cut it, 
just uh, add some glue to the back of it just on those pieces and then lay it over a piece of cardstock and you have the inside pattern also so you save both of those lots of fun all right now we want to add a bear in here that is going to um, go well with our color choices here so let's do let's do a, a nice dark bear a dark uh, we can do a black bear not all black but um, nice and dark so we'll do uh, W8 W10 that's really dark right and then we'll do some um, w, w5 we'll do that all right and we'll give him a purple umbrella this time so he's gonna be a black bear this time let's see how quickly I can color this guy and it still look okay <laughs> W10 to start with. I'm picking this because I want it to really contrast. Then W8. Just beyond my W10, I'm going to do W8. So I don't want him to be too black, right? I don't want him to be too uh, dark. And then W5. You get a really nice blend in this cardstock too with Catherine Pooler's white cardstock. I think I may need to refill my W5. Not the best timing there, guys. This is a warm gray. Yeah, I need to refill my W5. Just so happens I have that W5 right here. And I've never opened it, so it's a fresh little refill. You just take your Copic marker, take the chisel nib out. Then I showed you this on Saturday. Just drip it in there. I'm using my right hand and that's not smart because I'm left handed. Much easier. <laughs> Okay, that's good. And now this ink will come out much better. Much more easily. There we go. Look at that. Much better. There we go. We it's really coming out now. Okay. Now I'm going to use this W5 on my left-hand side to build a fence, but then I'm going to blend that in with the W3 over there. So he'll be a black bear, but it's kind of gray black, you know what I mean? Jelly bean. It's kind of a quick coloring job too, so. W3, I refilled this one on Saturday, so he should be good to go. Yep, nice. Just gonna quickly color this guy in here. Try to get rid of those, uh, any harsh lines in there. 
I think I need to add a bit of dimension to his arm here. Like that. Rhonda, I'm from Missouri. Yep, we have black bears in Missouri. We have black bears in Rhode Island too, where I live now. All right, now let's give him a bit of a uh, muzzle, some color on his muzzle there. And we'll give him a purple, a purple, a blue violet kind of purplish um, umbrella. So I'm going to use. VO6, VO, let's see, I think these two will work. I like V28 as well. Let's try these two instead. V28 and VO6. V28 is kind of um, blue-violet. Oops, wrong end. There we go. And he's got a bit of dimension on that umbrella. Not a not a huge amount. Do you think that the that purple umbrella doesn't contrast well enough with the the rest of the guy? The rest of him. And I think he needs to be a different color. Hey Sherry. I think I'm going to just add watch this trick. I'm going to add this brown to him. all over him and it's just going to change the tone of my bear it's going to change the tone of my bear just a little bit there Turn in more of a sepia color. <laughs> Hopefully those lines will draw them back. I like that better. He's a little warmer. A little warmer of a color. <laughs> and I'm going to darken up his umbrella too because he just needs more contrast. The umbrella definitely needs more contrast. There we go. Contrast is key, guys. That's better. Where am I going to put him? Where am I going to put him? Where am I going to put him? I'm not going to put him all the way up there, right? He looks a little lonely down there. So what I'm going to do is add some clouds. We'll just do some white clouds there. I can do some purple clouds. Let's do some grape, grape crush clouds. You want some glossy accents on the umbrella? I can handle that. 
Did you guys click the link? If you didn't click my link yet, would you do that for me? There it is. Make sure I get this nice and inked up. That's beautiful right there. I love it. I'm going to do one more. Let's do another one. Just press it in with a tool gently, not too, don't get too zealous, overzealous. Use your fingers if you want. Make sure you clean them off afterwards. Okay. Now we're building a scene here, right? We're going to need to trim this in half. I'm not going to pop these up because we've got a lot of dimension behind our background already, right? We'll do this right here. Like that. I think that's nice right there. All right. Ooh, it's getting late, huh? Man, you guys are soldiers. Look at you hanging out with Dell and Artie so late at night. Is it past your bedtime or what? Put that half there. Get this guy. Ruth, you and me both. Ruth loves her CP inks. Man, me too. Now, I just love the way this looks like the sun peeking out behind this cloud right there. And then this right here, our bear. We're going to put our bear right there. I am going to pop him up, though. I just bought two new rolls of foam tape, so... I'm not worried about using it. <laughs> if you've gotten any value out of tonight's video and you want to leave something in my guitar case, there's a link for you to do that right there. Just click that link and you can go donate up to $20,000. Please don't go beyond the limit. It's always helpful to help me pay for my my bells and whistles here and the fun things and supplies, Copic markers, refills, all that stuff. All right, now we need a sentiment as well. So I'm going to get one of the sentiments out of our April showers set. And it says, let's see. Sending a little sunshine your way. I think that's perfect. Let's get a piece of cardstock out, a piece of black cardstock. Give us another Misty out. Oh yeah, Sammy. Me too. I think you need it. He is adorable, Amy. Keep your comments coming, guys. I'm going to pick a winner here in just a minute. If you clicked my link earlier, you can get an extra entry by saying, I clicked your link. I clicked your link. 
If you didn't click my link and you want to click my link, you can click it right there. Thank you so much. Could you also remember to hit the like button on the video? It helps YouTube know that this video should be shared with other people. You can also hit, if you don't like what you're seeing tonight, hit the thumbs down button twice. All right. What did I do with my sheet of paper? There it is. <laughs> Thank you, Carrie. Thank you guys for clicking my link. Thank you, Elizabeth. Let's do white embossing powder again. Thank you for clicking my link. Cheryl, that get out. That'd be perfect. Yes. All right. Thank you very much. I'm going to hit put this back in my jar here Sherry you can't hear me thank you Bon Bon that's very kind of you so sweet I appreciate it and an applause for Bonnie I'm going to boogie for it. Remember our lesson on reframing? Thank you very much for that. It's very kind of you. <laughs> sure. You guys got my joke on clicking the thumbs down twice, right? <laughs> See how I'm, I'm lining this up with the edge of my, you just get the word right to the edge of your plastic guide on here and then cut it and you're sure to have it perfectly squared and straight, right? Oh no, Bonnie, you missed my, you'll have to catch it on replay, Bon Bon. <laughs> Now I could put that sentiment down here and I think that's the best place for it right there. Right there. So let's adhere it to our You want me to dance again for Bonnie? If you want me to dance again guys you're gonna have to hit that donate button Send me, you know, a thousand bucks, something like that. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> that donate button, throw in a couple bucks there and I'll dance again. All right. There we go. Isn't that cool? He needs a puddle, doesn't he? Well, I don't want to die cut a puddle right now and stamp it and color it and put it in. It's another 10 minutes, but you guys can put a puddle under him when you do yours. Isn't that fun? <laughs> bon Bon says I should dance again. Tell someone else to send me a, another, another donation there, Bon Bon. I don't want to set a precedence of dancing twice because that would be... That would be murder on me. 
What do you guys think? Do you like these guys? I think they're fun. Oops, what happened there? Someone wanted me to put glossy accents on my on my umbrella. All right, I'm going to put glossy accents here. There we go. <laughs> Aren't these fun? These are really fun. All right, so there we go, Jen. Jen wants to see me dance. <laughs> Thank you, Jen, that's very sweet. All right, here we go. Bon Bon, you watching? Are you watching, Bonnie? Watch. There's an applause. Ooh, I forgot. Do my applause. <laughs> and here's the boogie, ready? Bon Bon. This is boxing. I have foam tape on my <laughs> my sweater. <laughs> All right, thank you guys for hanging out with me tonight. I'm going to pick a winner, and the winner needs to write me a note at delandarty at gmail.com with your name and your address and what you won tonight. You're going to win a prize from my prize box. So you need to write in there that you won a prize for my prize box on today's date, okay? Uh, Rhonda, I'm from Ripley County, Missouri. That's where I'm from originally. I was born in St. Louis, but raised in Southeast Missouri near Poplar Bluff. That's where I'm from. <laughs> Thank you, Jen, thank you. If you're getting any value out of tonight's video, would you mind hitting that subscribe button? If you're not subscribed to my channel yet, what are you waiting for? Hit that button. And if you are on Facebook, just hit that like there. Oh no, Bonnie, Bonnie really wants to see me dance. There she goes again. All right, I'm going to do it on the big screen just for that, all right? Another applause. Thank you, Bonnie. <laughs> Thanks for the super chat. All right, here's a go. Here it goes. My hair, what is wrong with me? <laughs> this whole time, my hair was sticking out over here. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, you were born close to there in Malden. Yeah, Malden is in the boot heel. Way down south. You're in the flatlands down there with the mosquitoes and the rice fields and cotton. Watermelon is grown there as well, right near the Mississippi River. Are there any questions, guys? Did I miss any questions tonight? Now's a good time to get your, your questions in. Could you hit that like button and subscribe? And if you're not part of my email list, you can sign up by texting the word Artie, A-R-T-I-E, to the number 66866 on your cell phone and reply with your email address when they text you back and you'll be signed up to get my recaps and my email newsletters. Lana, did you send something, my friend? Or your question? Just repeat it we, that'll, so I don't have to scroll up and try to find it. Is that helpful? That's easier. Rhonda's from Excelsior Springs. Wow, that's southern Missouri as well, isn't it? Excelsior Springs. Or is that near Kansas City? I can't remember. My brush tip in a Copic is still dry even after I refilled it. You'll probably need to replace that brush tip because if it's if you let it go completely dry, you don't there it's not going to work the same anymore. It, the the ink dries out but the residue of the ink the actual pigment is left behind in there and it can become uh cakey in there and it won't work anymore so um you can try to soak it out in in the other ink like um i wouldn't put a different color in there just uh try to condition it a little bit but if it stays dry you may want to replace it lana Yep, it's a small world. 
Not far from Blue Springs. Okay, nice. <laughs> That's cool. Okay, guys, I'm going to pick a winner. Are you ready for this? You ready? I'm going to go all the way up. Then I'm going to go all the way down. And then I'm going to go all the way up. And I'm going to go all the way down. And then I'm going to stop right on... Well, that's my comment. I can't be a winner. I'm not a winner here tonight. Not this way anyway. So let's try again. Let's go up and down, up and down, up and down. And it stops right on Lynn Sanders. Lynn Sanders says, yes, glossy. I think she meant glossy accents. She wants the glossy accents. So, Lynn Sanders, you're the winner of the prize tonight. Thank you for joining me. I appreciate it. Just send me an email with your name and address. I've got a bunch of prizes to send out tomorrow. So, if you get my you get your email to me tonight, your prize will go out with all of the others who are waiting for prizes. Thank you so much for having some fun with me. Uh, the You've been seeing Shop Craft Company, Colorado Craft Company, uh, and get free shipping. There's a code there as well that's been coming through the comments. That code is active still for tonight and tomorrow. So go ahead and sh and shop. Please use my code though so that, that uh, there are other codes out there that you can feel free to use too. But if you use my code, then then I get a commission from your purchase and it's real, real helpful to me. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful evening. If you're from Stamp Nation or you're a member of Stamp Nation, you get to shop tomorrow, all right? And if you are not a Stamp Nation member, you can join tonight or you can wait till Wednesday to shop for Catherine Pooler. We'll see you in the emails, guys. God bless you all and you have a wonderful night. Good night, Mama. I see your comment there, my Mama. <laughs>